What's good, YouTube? It's your man BG Tech Life. As you can see, we got the Pixel 6 Pro on the desk, guys. And the other day, I just did a video. We talked about the connectivity issue that's lasting and lingering with the Pixel 6 Pros on not all of them, a few of them are small. It's actually a small percentage of them. But if you're having connectivity issues, I just wanted to bring you some tips and tri tricks that may work. They may work, they may not work, but it's just something that you could try some little hacks, some little birdies that people put in my ear that may help you on a day to day and what you need is better connectivity. Okay guys, so the first trick I want you guys to try or the first hack or whatever you wanna call it, let's just go to the settings. Let's go to network and internet. We're gonna slide all the way down and we got adaptive connectivity. Adaptive connectivity extends battery life and improves device performance by automatically managing your network connections. You don't want that. You kinda, with a phone already having issues with uh, battery drainage or getting connectivity, things of that nature, you don't wanna switch it from network to network and searching for networks because that could also drain the battery, honestly. And then at the same time, it will, you know, going from network to network, it can kind of mess up your connection. So the first tip and trick is just probably cut adaptive connectivity off. Okay, next, under network, and internet guys as you're gonna see i got a verizon sim card in here so we're gonna click right here where it says sims verizon now we're gonna go all the way to the bottom as you can see automatically select select network you want that off you want that off and you just want to choose this verizon network you don't want the phone looking or doing any searching on its own so as you can see now we just own verizon the phone not gonna look for anything else it's not going to be jumping between any other networks as far as you want the phone to do as less as possible as far as connectivity. It's going to connect to what it connect to and just leave it at that. Okay, next guys. Now we're going to go back into Sims and Verizon. We're going to go down and as you can see now, if you, you know, if you're getting bad connectivity in your area and you're not getting a good signal anyway off your SIM card, you're not, the phone not staying connected, you know, 5G is the last thought on your mind. Like, I really hate that, you know, you might have to do this or think about doing this. I wish everything worked flawlessly, but just to get you from A to B and see if it does help you more, I would cut off 5G. Now, all we do is go to preferred network type and go to LTE, 4G LTE, definitely not, you know, it's not 4G LTE in some places is re really good. You get good speeds, you know. Um, you're not, you know, when it comes to 5G, depending on where you're at, you're not getting top of the MOOC 5G. So just go ahead and cut 5G off, get it on LTE. Now, that helps you with stability in your phone stand connected. That's a win. That's a plus. I mean, it's, it's sad that we would have to do this in 2022 with a device that's new. But if you really have an issue, you can definitely try that. Okay, guys, the next thing you might want to try that you could try is it's not under network and internet. It's actually under battery. So under battery, guys, you can go down to adaptive preferences. Now you got adaptive charging. That helps, you know, that helps with the longevity of the battery and saving battery. It's not charging the battery so fast that it's harming the battery, things of that nature. But you got adaptive battery. As you can see, I had it off and you kind of want to leave this off, adaptive battery. Extends battery life based on your phone uses. But as far as adaptive battery goes, to extend battery life, adaptive battery may reduce performance and background activities and some notifications may be delayed. Now, this may um, shorten your battery life, but with the phone cutting off certain background activities and things of that nature and trying to track your use, the phone is actually doing a lot in the background which may interfere with your network, guys. Um, actually cutting off certain background activities and things of that nature could interfere with your network and you just would rather have a better better connectivity. You, wanna, you don't want the phone doing too much playing in the background. When you already have a connectivity issues, you wanna tell the phone exactly what to do without it guessing or trying to learn your usage and things of that nature because the phone can become confused. The phone can cut certain things off that was actually assisting you having a strong network signal. So you just want to cut that adaptive battery off. 
It, it may work, it may not work. You know, these are all things that you could try, guys. I just wanted to, you know, see, try to be of some assistance with people that do have connectivity issues. Right now, I don't have any connectivity issues, but these are little things, depending, a lot of times, just depending on what type of car you want, what area you are in, some, you know, it, it may not solely be based on the phone. So these are just some things that you could try that may make a difference in your day-to-day -day with your cellular device. If you try any of these and they work for you, let me know. If you tried and they didn't work, let me know. We, If you know any more tips or tricks, let me know. But um, yeah, it's your man BG Tech Life. Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, then subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, BG underscore Tech Life. It's your man BG. I'm out. Peace.